Boy, we got some media on media beef right now. M&Ms right now. Media and media going at it right now. Yeah, Shannon Sharp. Oh, oh. He hit him with that jungle clap. You know them dudes doing the training day? He hit him with them jungle claps. Hey, I heard what you said, Steven Jackson, about the way I do my interviews and show. And Steven tried to do it in a non-hateful way, right? He tried to do it in the most positive of ways. Hey, man, you know, Cat did his thing, and that's who Cat is. He's a realist. And at the same time, Shannon, you look. Good interview, except I wouldn't let him talk about those cats like he did, pun intended. I was like, dang, that was a little bit, that was the first drip of a little hate, but then he turned the faucet on. <laughs> he said, oh man, we got relationships and we don't get down like that. And then when you felt so inclined to check him, he hit everybody with the Uzi saying, and you know what? Y'all ain't got no show, so y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Whoa, I said, all right, well, I didn't have to respond to that because Shannon Sharp responded to that. Check out what Shannon said. I never criticize anybody because I look, the way I look at it, Ocho, everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he lived in the same house I lived in. He mm -hmm. got rained on just like I did. He right. had to go outside to the woods to go to the bathroom just like I did. So hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he yeah. go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm -hmm. So if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right I believe I can do it. Yeah. But you think, you th hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches. Right. And you got more hate in your heart with all that you got, that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that you think better. How about get better? Create better content. Mm. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave it alone, Ocho. Yes, sir. And this way, everybody that's out there. You preach, you preach it right now. Nick. Just Go because ahead. you're first to do something, that don't mean you're the best at it. That he got so much, he always has something to say. Right. Now, this is the same guy. You know what? I ain't gonna even... No. Look here. I like that. Sometimes people, sometimes success, the only success they get to taste is taking a bite out of you. Mm. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah, he was about nine degrees in. He was about to go to the nth degree, the tenth degree, all the way through. He was about to go full 1,000. Thou wow. But he kept himself composed. He preserved himself. Um, let me go all the way for him. <laughs> Look, he, he, what Shannon caught was, Stephen, you mad, bro. And look, we all get mad. But that doesn't mean we all hate. When you're doing something and somebody else is doing something and you want what they're doing and you're wanting what they're getting, you want that interview. You want those ratings. You want those views. And they are raising their hand both for that. That's their lane. Come on, y'all. All the smoke, all the smoke came first, didn't it? Didn't it come even before, obviously, the pivot? Uh, athletes. First, whatever the one Brandon Marshall. Yeah, I am athlete. Yeah, I think all the smoke was first in this whole new genre of athlete podcast, retired or current, right? <sighs> and look, y'all can't feel like this because this is how I grew up. I'm gonna give y'all some some little story on that. You can't get mad when somebody passed you up, bro. Not at them. You can't get mad at anything but yourself and say, look, if I'm trying to win this game against them. I'm going to have to play the game better. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. So that's for Steven Jackson because he's raising his hand because obviously he was first to it. And now Shannon done passed not only Steven and Matt up, but this is why it shouldn't even be a diss. He done passed everybody up. He going for Joe Rogan, bro. <laughs> that's where he going. He like, look, all y'all, this is, this is cute. This is fresh, but I'm going somewhere else now. And good for Shannon. Now, what helps me deal with my level of like, damn, I want my views to go up to 40 million is the fact that I know I'm not doing what they're doing. So that gives me solace being real because if I'm playing football and you playing football, but you getting all the love, you a quarterback and I'm a DN, I can easily say, I'm damn, I want some of that shine, but they don't give DNs that shine, right? We in two different things, even though we in the same game. However, if I'm a quarterback and you a quarterback and we the same thing and you killing me oh I feel a certain way but still you ain't got to say it 
Still, you ain't got to act on it. Still, you got to hate. And still, you ain't got to lace it and play it off like it's all to the good. Glad Shannon said something. Um, because I heard that and I was like, uh, uh, it feel like a certain level of hate there. Now, here's the thing about what's going to happen now. You can't get nothing out of Steven Jackson in this situation because Steven Jackson now has been confronted with the reality that not only do people think uh, that was laced with hate, but more importantly, he got you, big dog. It's just the way it is. And I want everybody to catch the life lesson in this because when I was growing up, a lot of people passed me by. Youth level, youth level, Pop Warner level, uh, running around the country as a kid, high school, all that before that. I was top dog. Then I had some knee issues in high school. I was good slaughter, et cetera. Cats would pass me by. Thank God we didn't have like ESPN rankings at the time. I might have been caught up. But people were passing me by when I used to be the man compared to them. Then I got, go to Columbia. Good Lord, everybody done passed me by. All my homies going to big schools and stuff, et cetera, saying, oh, man, I'm going pro. You know, they had these gigantic schools wearing the gloves, the sweatsuits, all the cute girls, big stadiums. I'm going pro. I'm going pro. I couldn't say anything. I'm at Columbia. Nobody even watched my games. Then I got drafted and they didn't. Point being, man, look, this is a roller coaster ride, bro. All the smoke was all the shit for a while. And now there's competition and some competition has passed them by. Go, go get yours. Go get yours. Go do the thing that you want to do instead of telling them the thing that they're doing is not as good as you like it. <laughs> all right, so those are my guys, all of them. You know, I got love for all them guys. You better not come at me. Boy, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? But I got love for all those guys, but I did catch that. It's simple. Like, we all got egos, right? You got to check it at the door. If you don't check your ego, there he go, as my grandma used to say. <laughs> You're going to act a donkey. You're going to say something stupid, act crazy, or do something out of line. So check the ego, or there he go. All right, y'all. What did y'all think of Shannon's response? Almost ether, almost boom, boom, folk jerks. I heard that part. Boom, boom, jerk. <laughs> he almost got it out. He was mad at stacks, but um, he kept it a little composed. And are most people in the industry haters? No, that's not true. I'm gonna ask y'all, but that's not true. Most of us are not haters. We're competitive, but we're not haters. And sometimes it leaks out when you're competitive and you're mad at them. That's when you're a hater. I'm competitive, but I ain't mad at them. Now, if somebody trying to come up here and be in positive with a charity and trying to talk to y'all one on one <laughs> and was getting 30 million views, I have some problems. Maybe I should be mad at Jordan Peterson or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. So you think people uh, think of other success as their loss instead of the opportunity. I love the fact that Shannon even showed it. The opportunity is there. If I'm getting 30, 40 million, that means if you're doing the same thing, it's there, dog. That's where the fish are. Let's go. Don't be mad at I'm catching more fish. We both in the same water. I'm just doing this thing a little bit better. All right, so we got to talk through that.